going on? It's me, Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm just here to chat about my must-haves for back to school. And these aren't your typical ruler, number two pencil, eraser. A lot of these are pretty random, but I find them very much so necessary. So let's go on into this video. Yeah. <laughs> the first must-have is like a three-in-one type of deal. You must have a crew neck a hoodie, and a zip up. I've gone through years of school where I only have one of the three, two of the three, and all I want is the one that I do not have. So these types of sweaters, please, please stock them up in your closet. Even if you have one of each, you'll thank me later. A crew neck, a zip up, and a hoodie. Go thrifting for those things if you want to find one that's a little bit more unique. You don't want to get a typical champion, not to bash on champion. If you want to go get champion, do that. Be all trendy and cool and stuff, yeah. The next must have are crazy. Crayola markers. Specifically, I am talking about the thin ones that come with like 12 colors, 8 colors, something like that. These just add a little bit of fun to your education, okay? As you get older, you lose that bit of fun and it's just replaced with a lot of dislike. I love using Crayola markers for goal setting, for planning, for journaling, for writing in my agenda, for doodling even. Add some color in your life. School's already boring enough. Just add a little bit of fun. Speaking of agendas, planners, journals, agendas, get your yourself one. What works for me is this small, almost pocket size, but if yours is a big Hulk book that you really just go in depth in, and with journals, if you like them lined, if you like them blank, go get yourself one. Moleskins are ones that I love so much. They definitely are pricier, but they are just strong. The next must-haves are runners, running shoes. Get that athletic on. I'm a Nike girl. It's a great way to motivate yourself if you still want to continue that fitness lifestyle throughout the school year because it can definitely be harder to do so. A camera, I any time of the year, get yourself a camera. If you don't have a camera by now, please think of investing in one. If, you know, photography, videotography, videotography, videography interests you in any way, capturing memories are so important to me. And even if it's just your phone camera, once again, this video is filled with some random back to school items, but hater blockers, hater blockers. I have walked around my city streets in these hater blockers. And I must tell you, even though I was with friends, they just give you a boost of like, Ouch. They just give you a boost of just, I am me, I am doing this, this is what I'm choosing. Whether you get some hater blockers with a group of friends or you just get them doing you, then do it, because they really do block out the haters. They do block out the haters, because a lot of their faces are very much so blurred out, because not great eyesight. The next thing is to treat yourself well. Whether doing that means for the last week of summer, you just journal and you let any emotions out, you let feelings out, or you grab coffee, <laughs> or you grab coffee with a friend and you do the same thing. Find a way to mentally prepare, to emotionally prepare, because back to school is a pretty hectic and overwhelming time. If your summer is packed and all you have is to just stand outside of the school the moment before your first day, take a deep breath and just attack, then maybe that's all you have. Treat yourself well, um, whatever that means to you. Keep a deck of cards in your locker. There have been so many times where one of my friends had a deck of cards and we played random card games throughout the day. Maybe you're cooler than me, I don't know. It's just always fun. You can think of endless amount of games, whether it's Uno or just a plain deck of cards. Such a good time. Stock up on your staple. Articles of clothing that you Love. For example, a couple years ago, I was so in to button up shirts. I just love them so, so much. Maybe for you, your go-to are t-shirts. You just love your t-shirts. Stock up on those as well. Yours might be rings. You love accessorizing necklaces, bracelets, hair pieces, whatever it is. Get a couple more of those because if it's your signature piece, if it's the piece that you love so much, you're going to want to wear it a lot. Goal set. I am such a goal setting person. I love setting goals for myself, whether I achieve those goals or not, whether it is about school or life or finances or friendships, whatever it is, goal set. But if you don't roll that way, you do you, I'm gonna do me. Another weird thing, but clear dividers. I loved these things for school. This is kind of like my practical item for the most part. The dividers that are clear with the pocket so you could like put papers in it. Usually those are to keep like a report or an essay like really crisp and clean and not bend the edges or corners. But I. I use them as like pocket. So I would stuff those things with paper as if like I'd have one clear folder for homework and the other clear folder for things that I finished. So I would just I would just pack those things in. I don't know, it just worked for me. It may sound a little bit weird. 
yeah, it kind of does sound a little bit weird. My last and final tip is to have a go-to shoe, preferably a go-to sneaker. I love my Air Force Ones. I only got them a couple months ago and I wear them so, so much. If you're in the market to buy some new shoes, I think slip-ons are your best bet. I have personally never gotten a pair of slip-ons before, but thinking about how amazing they are, it just convinced me that they are the go-to shoe. Get yourself some slip-ons. Like, literally, you're running late, slip-ons, you, you have a cute outfit, Slip-ons are cute. So yeah, y'all, those have been my must-haves for back to school. Yes, I agree. Some of them are pretty random and kind of unnecessary, but they are must-haves, okay? Must-haves to me, hopefully must-haves to you. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in a little bit.